While the Republican Party turned most of Kentucky red, Kentucky's third congressional district, which basically is all of Metro Louisville and Jefferson County, stayed blue once again. John Yarmuth gets his seventh term to the U.S. House of Representatives. His opponent, Vicki Yates Glisson, conceding the race just after 9 o'clock tonight. WHAS 11's Tyler Emery has been following this race and has reaction from both candidates. Doug Lisa, incumbent Representative John Yarmuth coasted to re-election tonight. He won about 62 percent of the vote with about 96 percent of precincts reporting. Now, even though he won pretty easily over Republican challenger Vicki Yates Glisson, she still earned about 37 percent of the vote. In his victory speech tonight, Yarmuth thanked the people of Louisville for continuing to work with him. But he did focus more on what he believes his win means nationally, saying that after the results roll in tonight, that President Donald Trump's days of unchecked authoritarian rule are over and that there's still a lot of work left to be done in Congress. Now, in her concession speech to Yarmouth tonight, Glisson emphasized that this was her first time running for public office. She believes, though, that she ran a great campaign this year and that she put up a good fight for the people of Louisville. She also said that she chose to run against a six-time incumbent in the most liberal district in the state because she believes in the future of the City. In the end, though, it was a Democratic win here in Louisville and the seventh win for Representative John Yarmouth. We're moving forward with the wind at our backs tonight because the blue wave will show that the power of honest ideas guided by compassion and reason can and will defeat the politics of division, fear, and hate. I am not done fighting for this city. I'm not done fighting for the children that we have. I'm not done fighting for a brighter and a better future of growth and prosperity for our city. Now that Yarmouth has won re-election for a seventh term, he's going to become chairman of the pretty powerful House Budget Committee, something he says he already has great plans for. Doug and Lisa, back to you.